Hello, it's Type Twice here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a color swatch in InDesign. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I've created this new document and I've created a rectangle shape right here, gave it a color, this orange one right here, and I created a swatch for it right here. So how do you actually create a swatch from a color? I'll be showing you that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is to actually open your swatches panel. And if you haven't this already in your workspace, you can find it if you go into window and go down to color right here and choose swatches. The keyboard shortcut for that is F5. So just select this and this menu will pop up right here. And as you can see, there is some standard swatches right here you can choose from, but we can also create our own swatches. And that's what I'll be showing you in this video. So the first thing we want to do is to actually choose the color we would like to create a swatch of. So to do that, first select our box right here. You can also just find it by double clicking on this in your toolbar right here and find a color. But the easiest thing I think is to just create some kind of shape so you can see the actually color. So when you have created your shape, just select it by clicking on it or drag over it. Then you want to go over to this as I showed you before and just double click on this and you will get this color picker. From here we want to just press on this, this edge right here and let's just find a color we would like to create a swatch of. Let's choose this orange color right here and then press OK. And as you can see, we have now changed our color right here and we are now actually ready to create a swatch. So to create a swatch from this color, we then want to go over to our swatches panel right here. And you can see these three lines here. We want to press on this and all of these options will appear. From here we only want to press on this new color swatch and this will pop up. In here you want to change the color mode to CMYK which is used for print. The color we have selected is right here. That is all just fine. And when you have changed the color mode you can just press add right here and press done. And as you can see if we look at our swatches panel the color we have just created is now a swatch right here. So let's say we want to create a ellipse tool. Just create this right here. We can just press on our swatch and it has the exact same color as this one. And the cool thing about swatches is that let's just say we have a lot of different elements for our design. Just like this. So let's say the client wants to change all of the orange boxes to a more red color. Instead of clicking on all of the boxes and find a new color for it all, because we have created a swatch, we can just double click on the swatch and you will get the same swatch option as before. And from here you can just change this to whatever color you would like. And as you can see, if we have preview on, it will automatically be changed to this color. So that is actually the really smart thing about using swatches in your design and your workflow because you can always go back and change the color and let's say we had instead of eight of these we had maybe 100 we can easily change the color we can also give it a green color and just press ok and the color has been changed to this green right here so yeah that is actually how to add swatches and a little about how to actually use them thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That was all for now. See you in the next one.